Hey Archer Fish Tank, it's Jared. Good to be with you again. Hey, four months ago, I introduced fiddler crabs to Archer Fish Tank. I made a video about it and posted it. You can look at the card up in the corner and follow that link to that video if you want to watch it. But don't watch it right now. Finish this, then come back and watch that video uh, after you're done. Anyway, I think it's time for a fiddler crab update to find out what they've been doing, how they're doing now, and what they've been up to during all this time. One of the things I love about my fish tank is the natural aquascaping that's going on. There's rock on three sides of the tank, and the fish get to experience only one side that's glass. This gives them lots of places to hide and a natural feeling. For the first two months, the crabs took advantage of that and went into hiding. I didn't see much of them at all, and the fleeting glimpses that I did catch of them were hard to film. For the most part, I could only find the crabs lurking in dark corners, hidden away, and as soon as I popped my face around the corner of the tank, they would scamper away under a rock, back to their hiding places. That all started to change a couple of weeks ago. Recently, both crabs, the large one and the small one, have been coming out into the open and staying out in the open more often. And I really believe that this is because, one, they are more acclimated and more used to their surroundings. They know where to hide and they know where to be in the open. But also because of the maturity of the tank. Look at this scenery where the water is dripping down. There's a cave that the crab is in with light filtering through the holes. It's, it just makes for an excellent setting for these fiddler crabs. This setting, which was originally created for archerfish, has turned out to be fantastic for these fiddler crabs. There's underwater cave systems that they can walk through, explore through, and burrow through. Um, they allow themselves to be partially or completely submerged as much as they want. It allows them to thrive because they can choose how much of their time is spent in the water and how much of their time is spent out of the water. Fiddler crabs haven't been spending more time visible just in the cave environments. They have also been spending a lot more time in the open water areas of the tank, grazing and eating all day long. I mentioned earlier the maturity of the tank. If you look closely just at the rocks, you can see all kinds of different algae. Some of it is green, some of it is red, and there's even some purples in there. And all of this different algae houses and hosts microfauna, tiny microorganisms that live along the surface of the rock. And the crabs are eating those. It's their natural food. They eat the algae and they eat the tiny crustaceans. If we pull back and look closely at the rock, you can see small specks moving around. Look close and see if you can see them. Now it helps to speed them up. So just like I slowed down the archer fish, instead I'm going to speed up these microorganisms. And suddenly they pop and you can see them everywhere. This is what the crabs are grazing and eating as they move from rock to rock. Just the other day, I found this guy sitting up against the front glass, out in the open, a full citizen of the tank with all the other fish. He's sitting in the exact spot where I took that video of the tiny microorganisms crawling all over the surface of the rock. Now, of course, an archer fish tank video wouldn't be complete without some archer fish in it. So I took a mealworm and placed it up on the cricket terrace above the water, 
with the crab down in the left-hand corner. I was hoping we could get an archer fish shot for you. And right on cue, here they come. They see that mealworm up there, and Scott is going to go to the surface of the water and shoot it right down. Well, try to shoot it down anyway. Let's give him a second chance, and there it is. Everyone who comes and visits to see the actual archer fish tank in action always comment on how fast it is. And that's why on this channel we slow it down so that you can see the slow motion shot and that shrimp flying through the air. Even these guys eating it is too fast to keep your eyes on it, so we gotta slow that down too. Once they shoot it down, they are always in competition with each other, trying to get that mealworm or that shrimp. So back to the fiddler crabs. There's another reason why the crabs come out into the open water and spend time. When they're not eating, they're waving their claws around. Claw waving is done by the male fiddler crabs, and they wave that claw around to attract females and keep other males away. The crab with the biggest claw, who waves it the most vigorously, will win the most females. Even this little guy wants to wave his claws around. Now he can't go out into the open because the big crab will come chase him away. But if he can find a little nook or cranny off in the corner, he'll just wave away. But if he's spotted by the larger crab, then he'll come be driven off. Because you can't have other crabs waving their claws in the same area where you are. Interestingly, he doesn't even want this spot. He just didn't want little brother waving his claw anywhere where he could see. He goes back to his good spot and starts waving again. I don't have any female fiddler crabs in the tank yet. I wanted to see how these two would do. It's been four months and they seem strong and healthy. They are a great addition to the tank. So it's time to consider getting some female fiddler crabs. In the meantime, Big Brother will keep waving his claw out in the open water while little brother has to sneak around and hide where nobody can see him. Not to worry though, we all take our turn being strong and weak in different seasons of our life. This guy will molt a couple of times and someday he'll be a big claw crab too. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm Jared Wood. This is Archer Fish Tank. Reach outside your world.